All right, guys. So here we are. First, we're gonna uh, first we're gonna take out this guy. Um, he's really not that hard. Oops. Um, just make sure. Nah, 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 nah. There we go. Use your sniper ammo just because of the distance. Uh, I believe it's gonna be that one there. So I'm gonna trigger him and run back, and then you gotta kind of be quick, unfortunately. But remember, you don't need the headshot. Now see how that cl uh, see how that still like just about hit what's his face? Uh, oh, that was weird. Uh, Joseph, you want to be careful about that. Now, uh, as from earlier, we did keep one more cryo bolt, and hopefully Joseph will fall here so we can just save him. No, all right. Well, hopefully we won't have an issue later. Go ahead and crouch through here. We're gonna take out that one with the cryo bolt so that we can, uh, so that we can take out this and this uh, this guy without any issue. Here we go with our last cryo bolts. I'm gonna put it right next to it. That way we can take it out without any without having to worry about it. Uh, now, first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see where it triggers him. Now, there is that bomb there as well, which is annoying. So, what I'm going to do it is I'm actually going to crouch, but then run as soon as he opens. I notice I'm teasing it. Damn it. Yeah, I still really suck at this aiming thing. All right, as you see, I messed up there, so I'm trying to get away. That was close. And hey, we'll try it from the other side. Okay. Now note that he can still hit down here, so just be careful. There we go. And that's probably the hardest guy to get uh, on this part, honestly. <clears throat> really annoying in that sense. Uh, you saw me pick this up earlier. I decided not to pick it up um, again until uh, I took out that enemy. Because I really just didn't want to... Taking out the enemy before picking up those shotgun rounds is really the way to go. Uh, at this point, uh, we're just about good to go now. Uh, we have we still have this enemy here what we're gonna do we're just gonna crawl just because we don't want to take a chance with this explosive we don't have any more cryo bolts we don't want to make cryo bolts because we're in it for uh we're in it for the profit there we go and let's see if joseph decides to fall no okay I'm gonna be careful with my falls here. I really don't want to make any rookie mistakes or anything like that. This only works the, your first time through. Um, so hopefully you can beat the sadist on your first try. Yeah, see, all his bullets end up in uh, in the next area. But the problem is, can't really see him. Let's uh, let's check that again. You know what? Let's try and get him from the other side. I I usually get him from that side, but I really don't. I really want to give you guys a strategy that'll work. Uh, I want to make sure that 
that I'm giving you efficient ways of handling this. Easy ways, I should say. Now don't forget about there is the explosive still at the bottom of that mini staircase. Right here. What we gotta do, we obviously, we gotta get an angle on that guy. So I believe none of what he throws ends up on the stairs here. But it does kind of end up at the doorway there. So you just got to be very careful. Let's see if we can get an angle from here. Looks like we can. There we go. Make sure to run away uh, just in case. Because he will... Uh, <clears throat> sometimes he will still get those get those rounds off. He really he does still get those rounds off. Of to the tower now. Except that bomb. Careful, Joseph. Now, I'm not going to pick up, uh, if, if you, uh, if you have extra ammo here, don't waste it, because after the Sadist, uh, I think you can still come back and, um, refill on some ammo. Uh, and it's really just going to be, the Sadist is really just going to be, we're not going to try anything too crazy. It's just going to be like one shot. Run around him, run shot, run around him, or as one of my favorites, uh, not one of my favorites, but one of my favorite sayings, kite him around. You got to kite him around. <laughs> um, we're going to use this barrel, and this only works on the first try, so hopefully you get it first try. Um, and I'm, I'm going to reload my checkpoint just so I don't have this barrel available. Uh, actually, no, the tactic's going to be the same. But you want to try and kick this barrel into there. Before triggering the status. Now, before we go in there, I did want to mention the key is right there. Make sure for whatever reason you might, you don't hit X there. We also have some harpoon bolts over there. I believe they're harpoon bolts. Yes. We have two harpoon bolts. Um, and I feel like maybe some pistol ammo or something, but we'll check that out when we get there. So I'm, I got harpoon bolts that I will be using first aside from my pistol for taking out those. And basically what I'm going to be looking to do... So I'm going to be looking to use the explosive bolts, use the harpoon bolts, and then use uh, a few shots from the shotgun and then switch back to pistol. Um, and I'll go ahead and uh, stop the video here.